My husband and I were watching a show on the Gaia channel the other day called Sounds of Healing. And it's about all of the sounds in the world that are healing, including sounds of our words and our thoughts. And so in this one season, they had an experiment, which I thought was so interesting. And I've seen this over and over again, but every time I see things like this, I just go, wow, it brings to home how powerful our words and our thoughts are. So they had three bowls of rice with water, on, water in them. And they just had them lined up together. And they, they had a, a man say different things to each one of the bowls of rice for a couple weeks. And so for the first bowl of rice, he would give gratitude and thanks and love and just sit there and talk to this bowl of rice and also send thoughts to this bowl of rice, okay? The second bowl of rice with water in it, he ignored completely. Didn't give it any thoughts, didn't give it any um, words. The third bowl of rice, he said uh, mean things to, sent, angry thoughts to, said angry things to it, called it names. Probably thought he was losing it if someone saw him doing this, but um, anyways, so he did that for two weeks. He did this. One bowl of rice, positive, gratitude, love, sending all that stuff. Second bowl of rice, ignoring. Third bowl of rice, mean, vindictive, angry thoughts and words. Okay. After two weeks, the first bowl of rice was bright white and it was almost fermenting and bubbling. It was really pretty and we saw it on the show. The second bowl of rice, sitting right next to the first one, so the second bowl of rice was black and, and it, didn't, it didn't look like it had mold, but yes, it was pure black. The third bowl of rice, which he sent mean words and thoughts to, was black and it was covered with this green mold. It was just festering. And so they were saying once again, I mean, you can go and look at studies after studies after studies of this kind of thing. And our thoughts and our words and our actions are so powerful that they literally build us and others up or they pull us down. And so now take that and expand it, expand that out into your surroundings. So if I'm thinking positive thoughts and if I'm thanking the trees or when I'm going on for a walk and if I'm grateful for each day and if I'm grateful for each person in my life, that's gonna keep sending love out and those relationships and those things in our lives are start to just lift up and build up. If I ignore things and I don't acknowledge people, places, and things around me, that is just as bad as if I were not to, if I were to say bad things to it. So again, that bowl of rice was black when it was ignored. All right. So then if I'm walking around and I'm yelling at everyone and telling everyone, oh my gosh, you are wrong and this is wrong and I'm being treated poorly at work and, and nobody understands me and I don't have enough money and all that stuff. Remember that bowl of rice? we will turn, uh, we'll, we'll get heavy with dark energy, we'll feel defeated, we'll feel lethargic, we'll feel less than, and it will be hard to move forward. So why not be like the first bowl of rice, send gratitude and thanks. There is always something to be grateful for, no matter what we're going through. Send that gratitude, send that energy. A lot of my work is dealing with physical and emotional issues for people. I'm a fascial stretch therapist, a Reiki master, and a grief and trauma specialist. And so often our physical and our emotional issues are tied to our thoughts and our thoughts of lack of or our thoughts of enough. So why not rise up in our thoughts? Why not uh, give positive feedback to ourselves and watch how our physical and emotional issues start to, to lighten and we'll start to get into wholeness and health, healthiness. Thank you and have a great day.